Are you about to strum up? Hi guys, Richard here. Hope you're all doing okay. If you are what you would say a sucky strummer or a bad strummer, then stick with me with this lesson. We're looking at three simple chords, but I'm going to try and get you how to strum a little more neatly and quickly with a few intricacies along the way. Really, really quickly before we dig into the lesson, if you want a free copy of The Sheet by Razorlight, hit me a WhatsApp or an email, link below, and you can also request a copy of my book, which I will also send for free, 100 songs in there. So hit the WhatsApp link or the email link, and I'll send it yet straight over. Let's dig right into the lesson. Okay, so you want a capo on the seventh fret, and we've got these three chords to begin with. We've got G, C add nine, and D. Now, try and use your G with the four finger G, so the last two fingers are staying on the last two strings here on the third fret. Then down to C add nine, and then to D. So then we're releasing that little finger away, okay? G, C add nine, and D. Now when this song starts, you hear this. It strikes all open strings, like so. And then you hear this rhythm. Catchy, really effective. Now, what I want you to try and do first of all, before we add this D sus4 and D sus2, is try and get this rhythm. And I use this rhythm all the time in my teaching. Down, down, up, up, down. Okay. Now, what you want to try and do if we slow it down. One bar on the G, one bar on the C add nine, two bars on the D. Start fairly slow, but then work up if you can. And it's a really, really good exercise because if you sort of pass that beginner stage and you're getting towards intermediate, you should be aware of your G, C, add nine and D. And you should be aware of this rhythm, but it's just a little more pacey. And now we're gonna add this little color, D sus four and a D sus two. Now what I mean by that, used all the time in music, D sus4 to D to D sus2 back on to D, okay? Again, all these are in the sheet that you can have for free. Just hit me a, hit me a what's up down below, YouTube, uh, it's YouTube. Hit me a link with your email or WhatsApp, I'll send it straight over. Now that's your intro and your verse. When he starts singing, we go to single hits. Now that goes a few times drums kick in and that rhythm kicks in so I'll go if you're not a fan of the D sus4 and the D sus2 yet don't worry just stick with G C add 9 and D okay now that keeps going you've got the full rhythm and the single hits between the verses and then when it kicks off now there's a second section that goes waiting for something that might never come and there's some interesting rhythm parts in this as well now this is using E minor seven. Think of Wonderwall. Hopefully you know Wonderwall. If you've got a parties, you've got to have that in your locker. E minor seven, D, okay? Now, you have this rhythm going, waiting for something that might never come. I quite like that, once and once. So you got E minor seven, D, and that rhythm slightly pushed on that D. I'll make sure I'm the one Goes again Nothing is certain G C I die Never figured it out And then Find out why So that's your second section okay. Again, all fairly simple chords But some interesting rhythms along the way And then what I love It then brings in another technique Using a palm mute When he goes So I'll go Yeah, I'll go Same chords G C add 9 and D. And if you're thinking, how on earth do I get that palm mute effect with your rhythm hand, you want to try and get this part of the hand softly onto the back of the strings here, round about where your bridge is, to get that sort of muffled sound. Don't go too hard, otherwise you get an awful noise, okay? But you'll, you have to trial and error with it. 
also quickly thank you that I've now hit a thousand subscribers. If you're watching this, please hit the subscribe button. Whack them dots as well on that bell. Okay, but you're sick of people saying that on YouTube. Everybody says it, but please, just for me. Thank you. Okay, so G. C add nine. D. And it builds back up. Yeah, I'll go. Then it's, oh baby, I'll go. Goes again. Yeah, I'll go. And you can hear him releasing it. Then that signature riff, oh, strong. It kicks back in, okay? Again, if you're thinking, why is he using the electric? Because I know I don't do loads on the electric. When you hear this song, it's it's played on the electric at the beginning. So I thought, let's try and be, uh, you know, fairly, you know, genuine towards the song. Okay, now, there's a bit at the end where the rhythm sort of loosens up. Again, still on this GCR 9 and D. But instead of going... You can hear him go like this, it's a bit more loose. So you could call that 16 note strumming. A bit gallopy, so try that as well, okay. Now, you know, there's a few things going on in this song, but I like it from a rhythm point of view, there's a few things happening, but from a chord point of view, it's fairly straightforward, okay. Now, there's a bit at the end. Again, G, C a 9, G, D, G, C a 9, E minor 7 to D, okay? Now, I know I've blitzed through that, but I say this all the time, hit pause button. You know, there's this thing where people, oh, it's too quick, it's too, hit pause, go back. It's not going anywhere, as I've said before, it's not, you know, it's not going to disintegrate into thin air, unless you drop your phone. So, you have... <laughs> your first part. That's your verses. Got to know. Chorus. Before I fall to pieces. It's like your first part. The waiting for something part. Wonderwall. Waiting for something that might never come. That's that part. The palm mute bit. And then the bit at the end. Comments or questions, hit me a link below. See you again soon.